Welcome to the new eAccess. Employers continually invest in making it easy for you to work with us. eAccess has received a thorough makeover, specifically designed for the way agents work now and for the convenience and ease that policyholders expect. eAccess has all the tools you need in one place with the most popular front and center. Left and right navigation menus of quick links provide easy access to secondary tools. Dynamically search documents and policies with easy download and email capabilities. While designated for quick and convenient self-service, the new eAccess features many streamlined tutorials to quickly get oriented and is still backed by one of the best support teams in the business. Employers is investing in tools that make workers' comp less work. And now to walk you through eAccess and to show how easy it is to use is Keith Goss, Director of Customer Service Center. So once you log into the new eAccess system, you will land on your dashboard page. And as you can see, we have a new look and feel to the dashboard. But I want to draw your attention to particular sections of the dashboard. First of being the left-hand navigation here. So we have all of the sites that you have access to available to you very easily and quickly. And they're sectioned off by sections with e-access quotes, online premium audit, self-serving endorsements. And then we also have a resource section here with easy access to come back to the e-access dashboard. The middle section, as you know, or as you can see, contains the three primary paths that our customers take based on data. So we have the get a quote, we have the self-serving endorsements, and we have the policy search. Below that, we also provide access to agency level reports. You would be required to select the report type. So if you were agency summary, we would require the selection of the year and the agencies that you want. You have the option to select all agencies associated with your uh, user ID or specific ones. You can also select the, the report format, either PDF or Excel. Once you select that, the system will take a few moments and then you'll be able to bring that up or save it or print it, whatever the case may be, back to the e-access dashboard. So in terms of the policy search, from here, you can go in and either select the policy, if visible, that you're looking to work with. Uh, I would also note here that these column headers are filterable. So if you'd like to go ahead and filter down based on any of these column types. And this is a Google search methodology. And so you can just simply type in some of the data that you're looking to do. If it's policy number that you're working with, great. If it's some other mechanism or some other type of search criteria, you can put that in and that would narrow down your search to that particular policy. I had going in, selecting the policy, and that would land you on your policy summary page, right? Let me go over each of the sections of this page. So here is the policy, the base policy with a dropdown giving you access to any prior policy periods if, if applicable. As you select the policy period, the information below will change dynamically. Contained within the header here, we have the first name insured and the agency related information. In this first top section here, we have basic policy level information. But then below that, we also have um, class code and location information. These sections are expandable and collapsible. And if you expand that, that would reveal more, more information with the address, the risk class or class codes, and associated payroll information for that particular location. If there's a policy that contains multiple locations, and so you can see here that uh, this particular policy has multiple locations and you can identify the different locations based on the state and then underlying address. And in the case where there are possibly, and in it, there are two addresses of the same location, we would make the distinction by putting in the location one and then location two. We also have access to prior policy period information and you would make that selection based on this drop down here. So if you wanted to view information on one of the prior periods, simply make that selection and the uh, change occurs dynamically with the information and that you're now looking at all information relative to this particular period. Next, we have the claims tab. And as you see, it dynamically changes the information relative once again to this particular policy period. 
and we show the financial information about the overall policy in terms of medical indemnity, recovery, deductible, total, and claims. And then the section below that where is where we have the claim detail, which gives you specific financials about this particular claim, the claim-related information in terms of the injury, and then if payments have been made on that particular claim, we will give you a summary of those payments. Next, we have the report section. Here are the policy level reports. You may select the report that you want to work with, either being claim history or also known as lost run, claim history by location, or a lost trend analysis. As you select your report, you would then select your report format, either being PDF or Excel. If your preference would be PDF, you can hit the download button. In a few moments, the uh, report, you'd be asked to go ahead and save that in a location of your choice on your desktop. And then once that save is, occurs, a, mo a few moments later, you will get access to that particular document. We also have policy documents available. And again, I want to remind you of the um, policy period dropdown here, allowing you to work with documents relative to any particular policy period of your choice. And you can choose actions of either downloading the document, either, uh, either the agent version or the policyholder version. If you were to select the policyholder version, it will present you with a copy of that for you to either print or uh, save to a file for, store, you know, for reference later. There's a new feature that we have available with the updated e-access, which allows you the opportunity to email it directly from the e-access system. So if it were the policyholder, uh, now there is a default, the from, as being the current logged in user's email address. You have the opportunity to change this. So if you're emailing it to one of your customers, you can change it to your uh, to another email address that they might be more familiar with and recognize, or you can leave it as your default. You would input the email address to which you want it to go to, select email, and moments later, you would receive an indication that the email has been sent. Next, we have the billing summary tab that presents basic information about that particular policy period in terms of current amount due, if any past due amount, the date it's due, total amount paid, policy status, and policy balance. We also provide you a brief history of the payments Next, I want to go over the My Alerts section payment. So this is where we provide you with alerts relative to policy or claims. You can simply click on the number, and that would bring you to the alert screen where you would uh, understand what type of alert it is, the alert date, policy name, policy number, and what, yeah, what that particular alert is about. In this case, this is a cancellation. And therefore, you can kind of go in and take a look at this and say, oh, maybe I need to give this particular customer a call and let them know that they are in jeopardy of being canceled. If you need some more details about that, we have provided a link that would uh, bring you over to the, po the policy detail so that you can look for more information, maybe go to the billing summary and identify that this is a past due policy and that would be the underlying reason why this policy potentially is going to be canceled. We also are providing access to a multitude of information. We've made a link here to Evolve, and here you can view all updated information regarding the changes and improvements employers has committed to, to provide for our agents, to make them more profitable, and to make it easier for them to do business with us. So easy that they can do it in their bunny slippers. For help with login or navigation on the new e-access portal, please call our service center at 1-800-700-9113, that's 1-800-700-9113, or watch more of our quick how-to videos on YouTube by searching for Employer's Video, all one word, and find the e-access playlist.